Hey guys, this is a video I didn't really plan on making, but I feel like I at least should because you deserve to have some kind of explanation as to what's going on right now. This is going to be a characterless video because lately I just I haven't been doing so well and I haven't been getting videos out and I feel you guys at least deserve an explanation so recently fan war had decided that he basically wants to cut ties with me for the foreseeable future because he feels that my criticism is not helpful and he feels that I'm just some dog barking at him, or as he put it in our Facebook private message, he feels like I'm the teacher from Whiplash that's just trying to berate him and tear him down. And this didn't really help me much. In fact, it kind of crushed my confidence because I feel as though as if I failed and that I'm useless. And one thing that he said that really got to me was him and some of his fans feel that I'm not a versus debater, which makes me feel like I don't belong in the community and I'm not as useful as I may have believed myself to be because I genuinely always cared about helping people and I often criticize other YouTubers in the hopes that they will be able to improve and I genuinely want to see people be the best that they can be and this blow has done a lot to my self-esteem but it's not just that and I want to make this perfectly clear Please, if you watch this video, don't go thinking that this is Fan War's fault. And please don't go to his channel blaming him or trying to shame him or attack him or whatever. This isn't really purely his fault. Because while one of my sisters did point out that he was being a tad bit overdramatic, and while you may be able to make that case, it's more than just fan war wanting nothing to do with me. I mean, if he feels that my criticism is no longer helping him, then there's not really much I can do about that. That's kind of out of my control. I can't control how he feels. But what this does do for me is it brings down my self-esteem and confidence to be able to not only help people but to provide good content because I've been doubting myself a lot lately which is why I haven't been getting videos out like I used to because after the Enigma video the thing going on between me and Fan War right now and things like my depression and anxiety it hasn't been a good combination for me and I genuinely feel that I don't have what it takes to continue to provide good quality content to you guys. I'm losing faith in myself. I know I don't always talk about this kind of stuff because it's no fun and I have a hard time opening up to people, but I do suffer from really bad anxiety and depression. And if you're familiar with the YouTuber Dishonored Wolf, then this story may sound all too familiar, how his depression and anxiety took its toll on him to the point where he eventually nuked his own channel. And with everything going on with my depression and anxiety and all the and the sheer poison that is the internet, it's led me to wanting to just delete my channel and just leave the internet for good because I feel like I'm going nowhere. I feel like the internet is just nothing but poison at times and I feel like I can't create useful or quality content despite my best efforts and 
not only that, but with YouTube constantly working against its content creators, and my view count, my sub count, and my Patreon and merch store really going nowhere, I just... It's completely making me lose faith. I don't know if I can turn this around because I do want to keep making content. I do want to continue to entertain people, but as Fan War pointed out to me, I have a really small sub count and I am not nearly as big, important, or well known as I maybe think myself to be, and it's causing a lot of self doubt in me. Maybe I'm not as entertaining or funny as I think I am. Maybe I'm not as helpful as I think that I am, because to a lot of other people, I just seem like a hateful, arrogant asshole when that's the farthest from the truth, but with all the things I suffer from, it makes things far more difficult for me than they need to be. Like, due to my anxiety, I am extremely insecure about what people think, which is why I often am always nervous when I upload a video. I always encourage people to leave their thoughts in my comment section but while i do want this at the same time it's always something i'm insecure about because i never know what to i never know what people really think about me and that uncertainty always leads to a lot of stress for me and this isn't to say that it's necessarily your fault it is just anxiety and i try my best to ignore it to not let it control me but sometimes i'll just be sitting here editing a video or editing a script and thinking no that's not good enough and either starting over completely from scratch or just spending hours upon hours re-editing something to try to achieve some kind of perfection because i do have a little bit of a perfectionist mentality and I just, I keep working on my top 10 favorite anime, and after watching that Enigma video, I keep re-editing the video, thinking like, is this good enough? Is that good enough? And it's just been putting a lot of stress on me, and now I'm not even confident that I can even make good videos at all. Originally today, I was going to make a response video to another YouTuber, it was going to be another Never Go Full Retard episode because I know I haven't made one of those in a long time. And after the thing that went down between me and Fan War, I just, I couldn't do it. And today, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of broke down crying today because I feel worthless, I feel unwelcome in the Versus community, and I feel unworthy as an entertainer, and as I said earlier, I feel like my channel is going nowhere, and I don't know what to do. I mean, I try my best to hide these things like my depression and anxiety that cause me unnecessary stress. But it just, it feels like it's not enough to just simply try to ignore it. And I don't know what to do. I mean, part of me wants to keep pushing forward for my YouTube channel, but another part of me wants to just give up because I feel like there's no point. Because what's even the point? I mean, if someone like Fan War can see what I do as useless, not helpful, or even stressful to him, then why even do it? I don't like being a burden on people. And at the same time, I don't want to cause myself unnecessary 
stress. I just, I don't know. I figured I might as well at least make this video so you guys can at least know what's going on. I mean, if you want to reach out to me and try to help me out, you're free to do so. But I don't know where to go from here. I really don't. So that's just kind of what's been going on behind the scenes. I've been dealing with a lot of stuff. And I'm going to try to talk to my therapist I've been talking to lately to see if she can help me out and maybe give me some kind of guidance. But right now, I feel completely worthless right now. And I just, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm sorry if this video seems kind of depressing. I don't like uploading these kinds of videos. I just want to entertain you guys, but at the same time, I feel like maybe if I do upload these videos, it'll help you get a greater understanding of me, like behind the scenes, because there, though I do like to try to put on a character, it is just that, a character, and there is a real person behind the character that may be helpful if you guys at least understand a little bit about what goes on with me and what might hold me back or make it to where I'm not as entertaining as I used to be because, I mean, as entertaining as I should be because though I try to put on a really entertaining character, Things like my depression make it difficult for me to do. Things like my inability to put on a good female voice, it definitely makes it feel like it's more of a watered-down character, and it's just not good enough for you guys. But again, I will just upload this and let you guys make of it what you will. For those who have stuck by me, I really appreciate it. And don't think this is me trying to get some kind of attention or throw a pity party for myself. That's absolutely not the case. I'm just wanting to be real with you guys about what's going on and showing you that there is a human behind this screen. And please don't think... I'm trying to get some kind of sympathy or attention because I know that can be all too common with YouTubers or people on the internet to just throw pity parties for themselves. This is genuinely how I'm feeling and it took me a long time to get recording for this video because I had to fight off a lot of tears, a lot of depression and a lot of anxiety. So I'll maybe see you guys around next time. Hopefully I don't end up suffering from the same fate as Dishonored Wolf and nuking my channel because I really don't want to do that. But I honestly feel that that's destined to happen. I'm going to fall down the same path as him. And I really hope that doesn't end up being the case.
भी डाला रे